So you guys seen my thumbnail and you're probably wondering, what is Redneck up to now? What is he gonna do with that ECU? Is that ECU for the XL? No, it's not. It's not for the XL, but we're doing this for science. So you guys remember the guy that sent me the motor, Jason Perry, subscriber of ours? He was looking for a tune and well, you got a new guy in town called Powertune. www.powertune.com. Don't forget, for all your CF Moto clutch kits and all your CF Moto performance needs, also www.rngperformance.net. We're doing this for science. This is a Z950 ECU. This is a U-Force 1000 ECU. Out of ours, pulled it out. They essentially, they look like the same ECU. But what we do know is they're tuned very, very differently. And here's the thing. One thing I've noticed with this unit is it's not snappy and, and punchy like a 950 is. And I can really tell that it's in the throttle and it must be the mapping. And when I had the stock kit, I'm like, okay, let me put my kit in there. I bet it'll make it a lot better. And it did. But it still don't have that snap that a 950 will have. Yes, I know it's a bigger U-Force. Blah, 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 it's got bigger tires. This is even with a stock U-Force. I've even noticed this with the other U-Forces. It just don't have the snap, the same snap as a 950. And if you're a performance guy like me, you kind of want that same snap on takeoff. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the tuned 950 ECU in the XL and we're gonna see, does it actually make a difference? Or will this one not even work at all? We don't know. The only thing we know is that it's got two different maps. One thing we know for sure is it's got the same motor. It's got generally the same outputs. It's got the same sensors. The only thing theoretically different would be the intake and the exhaust setup on this. And is that enough to make it so the 950 ECU won't work in this? I don't know. We're doing it for science. Thanks to Jason for sending this and having it tuned and then having the tuner send it to me first before he gets it to see if it works. Because here's my plan. This guy makes a couple of tunes. He's got a bass tune. It's like eight horsepower or something. And he's got another tune that's like 12 and he's got another tune that's like 15 horsepower. And check him out. He's got the dyno graphs and they're pretty good numbers and the price, you can't beat it. What he's offering you for the price, I think it's like 135 bucks. For that kind of a game, can't beat that at all. So let's do it for science. Let's put this in and see if it'll start. If it starts, then we'll see if we can drive it. We'll go for a drive. Let's get it in there. So it's pretty self-explanatory on how these ECUs go in here. They're, they're real super easy, real simple. Four bolts hold them in. Um, for me to do this, I really didn't even need to unbolt the thing, but I wanted to have them both in my hand for the video. So they plug in just like so. Now, I guess we're, it's that easy. It's that quick. Let's see. And a lot of, oh yeah, a lot of you keep asking me, can you read codes? Well, yeah, we got no more codes on this, just to update on that. But I do have a code reader that you can read codes with on my website. So before we go and we start it, I just wanna show you that, yes, it's same motor, same sensors, same all kinds of things as the Z950 and the OG1000. So it even calls for, the same throttle body. Literally, the only differences between the motors is the intake plenum. That is the only difference. It's because the Z950, it goes straight up, it doesn't shoot off to the side. 
and this system here it breathes very well it'll breathe about the same as what the 950 does so i don't see why this won't work but let's find out because the injectors are the same the sensors are the same everything is the same so hmm let's find out if this doesn't work we're definitely gonna have to figure out why we got fuel pump We'll let it, we'll let it kind of run a few minutes and let the ECU learn the sensors that it needs to learn since it's technically got a new tune on it. So we do actually have a check engine light. Not sure if you guys can see it. So we're going to see what that check engine light is. O2, low voltage, okay. That's normal, EVAP purge control, <laughs> really? Brake switch circuit. So these look like uh, low voltage codes and probably just codes because we had the ECU uh, unplugged. So we're gonna go ahead and clear these. See if they, they were successful. Let's see if they come back. Sometimes the scanner makes codes come back. Okay, all right, so they were cleared. We're gonna cycle the key off, go back on. Check engine light is out. Check engine light is back. Let me see what those codes are again. They're EVAP codes. It erased them. It keeps coming back for EVAP codes. But you know what? It wouldn't be for science if we didn't take it for a test run. I could care less about EVAP codes. Holy crap! That tune uh, definitely wakes it up. Hmm. Let's it's it's running good um wow yep yep got it yep oh yeah mm -hmm. okay all right so we got a few things going on here the whole dash has changed everything's out of whack but she's got freaking power now why is it There's normal. So the the mode switch don't work. Wow, wait a minute, what? You get on the throttle and it goes from normal to to work. Like, okay, what uh but it's got a lot of power. Like holy shoot. Um Let's, let's get up here and get turned around. Uh, that's hilarious. So, if we could figure out why that is. Well, that's from yesterday. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, um, if you're looking for a power tune, <laughs> wow. Holy hell. Holy hell. I wish I knew what the RPMs was. Holy moly. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. At least the miles per hour seems to be about right. Let's stamp on it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So why is the dash doing all that funny stuff? That's what I got to dig into and find out because this thing is running, baby. It's freaking running. Wow. All right, let's get back to the house. So we got our ECU switch back in there. 
No check engine lights, everything's back to normal. Wow, so here's the deal. Does a 950 ECU work in a U-Force 1000? Technically it does. Whatever the little issue is that goes between this and the cluster, I don't know, but if you noticed, it kind of switched all around the place and the eco switch did not work. One thing I forgot to ask him is if this unit had the eco switch. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask him because that's one thing I forgot to ask. As a matter of fact, he can comment down below. So leave us a comment, what do you think of this little science experiment? Um, did I run this tune long enough to truly thoroughly recommend it? No. Um, and I don't recommend it for the U-Force until he gets one done just because of the little issue that we're having, but my gosh, huge difference right off the rip, right off the rip. It took care of that lag that I was talking about is snap, snap, snap right there. So yeah, I would probably say get one at your own risk, but don't, don't get one for your U-Force 1000. And here's the thing, don't send him your U-Force 1000 ECU until he has a tune for it because chances are if he tunes the 950 tune on it, it's gonna brick it. So don't try anything that we did here today. You'll hear it from me when he has one because I'll be the first one to have one. So peace out and God bless. Leave me a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.